One of Canada's top airline executives apologized today for failing to accommodate people living with disabilities. It has become a recurring travel nightmare for many passengers looking to get around the country. CTV's Annie Bergeron-Oliver has the story. About one in seven Canadians has a disability, and for many, traveling is almost always a source of stress. It is extremely frustrating. Um, it's anxious on the way to the airport. You just wonder how it's going to go. Sarah Morris Probert has traveled all over the world as a Paralympic athlete and has had her wheelchair and equipment damaged numerous times. Last year on a trip to Cabo, she pulled herself up the stairs when she says staff refused to push a nearby ramp to her airplane's door. Barrier-free access is through ramps is the easiest one, of which I will add in Cabo there was ramps, but they did not deploy them. Stories like this have prompted a parliamentary committee to study accessibility in the airline industry. Today, the CEO of WestJet was up. In 2023, WestJet says there were 260,000 flights involving passengers using wheelchairs or other mobility devices. That resulted in 200 complaints and a total of 390 mobility devices repaired. Sometimes things go wrong, and if they go wrong, I truly believe it's not a systematic failure, but it is an unfortunate coincidence that we then work through to understand what went wrong and what can we do to improve our service. But Canada's accessibility officer, whose own wheelchair was left behind last year by Air Canada, says the problems are more than just a coincidence, but a symptom of a larger problem. In her first report out today, Stephanie Kedju says more training, education and regulations are needed to achieve a barrier-free Canada. Accessibility is no longer optional. Um, if it's not accessible, it's not done. And uh, so the, the main, main message of the report is we're just getting started. We have a long way to go. WestJet says it is introducing changes like ensuring all wheelchairs and mobility devices are wrapped to protect them from damage and finding new ways to ensure that a wheelchair Omar is always on the plane with the passenger. All right, Annie, thank you. A BC tribunal has ruled Air Canada is liable for misinformation it provided to a grieving grandchild who ended up buying a full price ticket to attend his grandmother's funeral. The bot said the man could apply for bereavement fares retroactively, but he says he later learned the airline does not allow that. Air Canada has been ordered to pay $650 in damages.